Welcome back to Lethal Company. Let's do this. So I thought about it for a little bit and I kind of decided, excuse you, I kind of decided that, uh, especially with the new update and everything that's in it, oh look, you can actually read that, I would just start over the Solar Series. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. They patched a lot of bugs. I played around with some mods in my free time and found one that I think you could probably see right now, which is one of them is the HD mod. I also have ship loot, which now you can see that indicator in the lower right of my screen. And more items, which should mean that when I save, the item limit is no longer 45. I don't know what the item limit is, but it's not 45. And you can see, oh, look at that. You can see the text from so far away now. And you can actually, like, read this, which is amazing. So, that being said, we're going to get right into this. Um, I'm going to get rid of this stuff because I don't care for it, basically. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? We're going to check out planets. It also moons. Um, Vow is the only one that is not completely destroyed right now, so we're gonna start off with Vow. How well you can see everything, it's so pretty. Let's go. We're going down for B. I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for beehives if I could find, like, I think I could manage two on my own getting those into the ship. Maybe beehive over there? Maybe. But uh, I don't think I'd be able to really get much more than that. Because I'd have to pull the lever, run, grab one, bring it in. I need to wait for it to count. And then run back in and grab one and get teleported back. No hives yet. I think I'm maybe going to try to get uh, two holes with a full inventory. There's one that I should have done, which is more stamina or better stamina. But I feel like mods like that start getting into the realm of cheating. The ship loot will actually help me a lot. I'm going to start off with fire exit. But uh, I don't think I have anything that's going to be game breaking. No beehives. That's unfortunate. Should have gotten flashlights and shovels. This is kind of weird coming in here on all on my own. <gasps> I love these rooms. There's actually stuff in here. It's not the great stuff, greatest of stuff, but it's stuff. Well, that sucks. That sucks a bit more. Uh, let me check up here. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I also have voice activation on, even though I'm on uh, single player. So, you know. Anything that happens in game, or everything I say can hear me in game, basically. Use my scan as a little bit of a LiDAR. I don't think there's anything in there, right? That's literally a dead end. Another dead end? Yep, because that's a door that's closed. Now it's pretty much the only way to go. So, let's see. There's a door up here. The rubber ducky. $92 rubber ducky. I would like the rubber ducky now, please. Thank you. Also, thank you for weighing nothing that is beautiful. Oh. oh, that's in real life. Jesus. Hopefully, my noise cancellation canceled that out. Got the laundry going. <laughs> I think we're going to check out the apparatus room before we get. Murked. Chemical jug 32, not that great. Sometimes there's stuff around here. I think I'm just gonna pull this now and bug out. That's locked anyway. That sounded like a vent. Need to be somewhat careful about snare fleas. Yeah, that's not terrifying at all. That's the right way? That is not the right way. I don't think snare fleas can actually kill you in single player. 
I believe that they will only critical damage you and eat and made it. They will only critical damage you. Oh, good thing I got another one I did. Um, and then they'll pop off your head. Like, they'll keep getting back on your head and only critical damaging you. Which is great unless you get, like, a single bullet from a turret to the back or you walk past a beehive too close you didn't realize was there. Or anything else that won't normally one-shot you will suddenly be able to one-shot you. <laughs> Man, 1.30. Time is going. Ideally, I start going to Titan a lot. I know they revamped a lot of stuff, and it's not the greatest in terms of loot anymore. But just the sheer speed in which you can go from the door back to the ship, you can haul a lot of loot back really quickly. And that's pretty much its main selling value normally, as well as in single player. No beehive. That would have been awesome. New creature data. What, what did it scan? I don't think it was a manta coil. Oh, it was a manta coil. Yeah, me the locust. Nope. Oh, locusts are too quick. Alright, let's get back on this ship. Barely. 2.30, probably a good time to bug out of here. I think I've seen giants spawn in these wooded areas as quick as 1, 1 So it's best to not linger. This is going to be quite interesting because normally my quickest or my biggest focus for buying stuff is a teleport and then equipment, which I should buy equipment. Pro shove. Um, I don't obviously don't need walkie talkies. Shovel was already 50% off, which is amazing. Yeah, I don't need to teleport inverse teleport probably a terrible idea because if I get put in a room with too many enemies that are enemies that I can't handle on my own especially without equipment or like even just a room that is already locked it's basically game over oh I gotta go grab that yep amazing update already worth starting over put this in here. I think I'll try to take the flashlight in with me. What do I got so far? 237, so already well above, 100 above quota. I'm pretty much never going to get a lock pick. It weighs like, what, 20 pounds? It costs, what is it, $20 normally? It's not really worth it. It's just better to try to get, like, one key, because nobody ever goes back to the ship to get a key. Which is really dumb that everybody saves so many of them. Stun grenades could come in handy. That'd be a, a Titan thing too. If I have giants on Titan, get stun grenade. That way I could get up the stairs and back down the stairs. Uh, Jetpack I don't foresee ever really getting. Radar booster I don't think will be beneficial to me. Yeah, the rest of that should probably be fine. Loud horn. Pretty much the same thing. I don't think I could see that being beneficial to me. There's stuff roaming around. I think stuff's gonna start spawning any second. I think your first day of the game always goes easy on you. We're gonna go ahead and take off. So yeah, inverse teleport's probably not a good idea either. Um, the rest of that stuff is just stuff. Signal translator is not useful. Single player. Pretty much walkie, or not walkie, sh uh, shovel and flashlight is all that's really worthwhile. Maybe extension ladder. If I get good enough with the extension ladder, I can place the loot from the top of Titan all the way down on top, or like on the uh, back deck of the ship. That'd make it excessively easy to get to. I hate how this never seems to register the first keystroke. Moons. Uh, um. Here. That's a little creepy noise. If I was still available, I think I'm going to go with March. If 
route is a little bit easier, I feel, to dodge the giants because you have so many hills and trees you can hide behind. But March has three fire exits. So if you get screwed over by the main entrance or one of the other fire exits, you still have two more fire exits, which is great. I also feel like it has better loot. I always view it as... Uh, you can't really see my mouse. Basically, the uh, first three planets are really just in order from the experimentation down to Titan. is more like a tier level of the loot you get. Experimentation is the worst loot. and There's the least amount of assurance. It gets a little better. Vow gets a little better all the way up to Titan being probably one of the more challenging maps, especially if it gives you the uh, mansion layout. But it gives you a lot of loot, and usually it's good loot. As in high value for individual items. Let's do some march. I'm going to try to get to the first quota here. We'll see how well we do. Um, I will take the flashlight. If there's bees, I might just work on that. Unfortunately, I don't see any. Thought I heard some. Uh, I think I'm just hearing things. That being said, I'm not sure how well you guys actually enjoy this as far as content goes. I try to judge a little bit based off of views and consistency with the, that sort of nature. I feel like, especially for as popular as this game is right now, that that might not be the best thing to do, because it's basically, I'm at the whim of YouTube's algorithm and whether or not even anybody gets shown it. So let me know down below if you want me to get some quality of life mods, such as, I think there's one for an extra inventory space, and one that'll actually help me is, uh, wow, look at that detailed two-dimensional textures. One that'll actually help me is... My brain will work for more than two seconds at a time. Um, better stamina. I feel like it's somewhat cheating, but if you guys are okay with it, then I'm okay with it. I don't exactly plan on speedrunning this game. Really? Nothing in here? Usually one of the better loot rooms. I do love this HD mod. It's It's... You never really can expect, like, a higher texture or higher detail, two-dimensional texture. Like, if you wanted to imagine... Yeah, my GPU is actually about at the same utilization. I'm actually kind of hopeful that's going to be one of the next uh, updates. Ooh, nice clown horn. That's going to be in one of the next updates is some sort of optimization. Not that I truly know how that might work. So far, we're doing pretty good with the loot. Um, so that way it's using less GPU, ideally. I'm not going to be making any risky jumps. There's not really any reason for me to. And I have church I need to watch out for. Good to know. Yep, not making that. Key. I'll take that and I'll bring all this back to the ship and then I'll go and pop into a fire exit as long as I have the time and that'll work perfectly Either way, I don't, I don't think it matters which way you go <sighs> but yeah let me know if you guys think that's okay or if I should try to stick with basically the vanilla setup I probably won't ever really get into details on how to set up mods. Um, I I don't know how to feel about that. I don't want to give you guys advice on that and that it ends up screwing up your computer in some way, shape, or form. Or worse yet, it's not your computer and you try to put the mods on there anyway. I essentially tell you how to screw up somebody else's computer in some way, shape, or form. Put this key up here and never use it again. Alright, I think we're doing pretty good. What is it? Just now turning one. Probably going to have to worry somewhat about giants. 
But I think if I get here and just get in the door, maybe find one or two things and get out, I will be definitely golden. Like I said, I don't really have anything to spend money on, but I would rather skip ahead a little bit and get to the higher tier planets sooner rather than later. Jesus, is time going faster in single player? Behind here is where the apparatus is. I can do that. Maybe up a bit. Need to be careful of mobs. But I don't hear anything deadly yet. Door, door, door. Please give me a door. Please give me a door. Very nice. I don't know why I hear it less now, but you know. I'm gonna roll with it. I think, ooh, there's a present, one of the new things. I'll open that when I get back because I don't wanna open it, find out that it's some high dollar, but two hand requiring piece of junk. I think it came from this way. And I made a left and a, or I made a right and a right, so I'll be making a left and a left. Keep an eye out for a bracken. This is about the time he comes up behind and snaps my neck. Here are the fire exits. Alright. Do I have... I do not have F for flashlight. That's another one of those mods I've tried. Like, you guys let me know what you think of. F for flashlight, better stamina, and... What was that last one? An extra inventory slot. Uh, I don't think I have the worm. Boonhawks. I think I just gotta yell at these guys. Ideally, I just don't get their attention. So far, I've avoided his attention quite well. This is where a giant comes up out of the ground and no scopes me, right? So far, so good. Okay. I, I don't know why, but I was expecting worse to happen. Cookie sheet. President's usually worth about 19. Cookie mold is much heavier. And also worth about 48, which is beautiful. Well, we have got another day to go. And... So far, we've got some good stuff to show for it. What do I got out here so far? 550. Very nice. That's pretty good for just like March, one March run and one Val run single player. I mean, I feel like that's pretty good. I'm surprised I haven't really found anything worth worrying about yet. <laughs> Or they collect your 266. Very nice. Oh yeah, you can see that that's been bugged since the uh, version 45 update. Kind of hate that. It says I'm intern on my shirt even though I was boss rank like a week ago. I didn't like lose rank. It just for some reason reset it. So now I'm an intern with over almost 1700 experience. March is now stormy so I won't be going back there. Um, there's nothing I need to buy at the store, so I guess we could do offense. I love that you can do shorthand on this thing. I also want to set this up a little bit different. There we go. Offense it is. Uh, let's see. This is the one where you need to make the pipe jump in order to get to the fire exit. We will not be attempting that. They have revamped gravity. I appreciate the revamp they did on gravity. I like it. It makes sense for a moon. It's like it, it takes longer to fall than it would on a planet's gravity or like basically 1G gravity. But it's not that much further before you could start getting or before you start getting hurt. And then there's a very fine line between getting hurt and being dead. I'm 
mud hole over there. I don't know why. I need to get in here and burn in daylight, literally. A little steamy over there. I think I'll avoid that for right now. I don't get to avoid it for too long, unfortunately. Okay. That's not good. And I don't have access to the uh, fire exit. Anything gonna lock onto me? Alright, we're good there. Gotta be really careful about these turrets. <laughs> really careful about these turrets. I completely missed that. I where I scanned in here. For some reason there's a pole here. This might have to just be it because I don't think I'm getting past that turret. There's a key which I don't really care about. Ooh. I think this is just going to be it, unfortunately. No loot ever spawns outside, so there's nothing much I could do about that. And, uh, I... Is this the one I'm thinking about? Yeah, it's assurance where you go up a ladder. This one, you had to get on that pipe and walk it all the way down. So, it's not much. I mean, who knows? This present might have something decent in there. That'd be pretty cool. Definitely have more than quota by a couple times. Which isn't saying a lot. It's kind of an interesting thing. It depends on what you want to do. If you want to get a really high quota, you have to start day one. You don't get an option. I mean, you keep a percentage of not the entire quota, but in your bank rather than in loot when uh, you go and sell to the company. Axel. Axel is worth... I hate the scanner in this game. 48, not bad. And there's a bolt. Um, what was I saying? Oh, jeez, excuse me. Oh, damn it. I hiccup so hard I lost my train of thought. What was it? I hate this way the scanner works in this game, but I think everybody kind of does. Um, oh, yes. So, like, Day one, you have to start grinding hard in order to get those higher quotas late game. Because if you think about it, if you're soloing Titan, you might be able to do... We'll give you a optimistic but not exaggerated uh, a haul of about $1,000 a day. That means you can sustain a $3,000 quota, but not much more. Or not any more, really. But if you start now, and like, what is it right now? I'm at 622, I'm at a 130 quota, and then the next day I get another 622, 622, 622. I can get up to a 622 quota and continue on past that with just what I have in reserve on the ship. You gotta have that mentality starting out quick. And you can't do what I'm doing here where it's like, oh, I've got more than a couple times quota, so I'm just going to leave because if I don't, I risk, you know, losing, I think, what is it, you lose half on, uh, death on solo I think that might be a mod that I've seen other people use I'm not sure if that's the game or if that's mod <laughs> no notes uh, why is it only a 47 the axle was 48 and then I got a bolt this game's weird so 130 is my goal I don't know why I did that. I'm pretty sure I muted you. So I want to sell basically at quota. Uh, just for the sake of keeping clutter down, I want to sell the cheapest items I have so I get rid of the majority of them. I'd rather have a few really expensive items than a bunch of really cheap items. Also notice crouching helps better when you scan, but only sometimes. Uh let's see, it's still giving me that for those. 
There's a rubber ducky that's 35, the bolt's 20. So 30 and 30 is 60. Uh, 35 and 60 is 95. 20 and 95 is 115, so I still need about 15. I don't think I'm gonna get like a ideal set of items. I think I'd rather have the cookie sheet than the axle. By the way, uh, there's still a, like a plentiful amount of people that are brand new to this game. I'm gonna try to give some tips here and there. I'm obviously not like god at this game by any means. Okay, I have a few hours in it. Actually, I have the ability, so why don't I check? I have 85 hours in it. I don't think that's a terribly lot amount of time, but I've played... That was one of the things I was going to mention. Um, everything in this game uses your microphone. I don't care what anybody says. Normally you ring the bell until that door opens, but the sheer fact that I was talking in front of it was enough for him to open it. And if I continued talking too close to it, he would get ticked off and throw tentacles at me. Open, please. I mean, yeah, you can literally just say open, please, until he opens the door, too, which is kind, kind of interesting. This is definitely going to be more than quota. I already knew that. But I don't have much of a choice. Can I still do this? Yeah, there we go. Can almost see the model number better with the HD mod. Uh, I want to really keep out because that thing was like. Yeah, that's 92. That's 71, 48, and 58. I want to keep the really high dollar value items. There we go. Alright, I also want to get rid of this crap because I hate it. You're in deep access file, Seagird. Peace. Just ring it until he opens. When it opens, stop ringing. If you're spamming the crap out of the button, you're probably going to hit it one more time, which shouldn't be too much, but it probably will. Um, how much was that? Oh yeah, that axle was 48, but it was the one of the cheapest things I had, right? It was 48, that was 48. Yeah, okay, that was the cheapest thing I had then. So I don't really have anything else to go for. We have beat the quota. Yippee. We're going to take off. And that's going to be that. We have beat the first quota on version 45. 45 I felt like was going to be the biggest because I think, don't quote me on this, I think it was the first update since the games really come out. So I felt like that was probably a big one that I should just kind of restart. They patched a lot of things. They changed how gravity works. That's a pretty uh, big thing to do. What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? No overtime bonus? Did I miss it? I don't think I got any overtime bonus. That sucks. Or I didn't pay attention. I probably didn't pay attention. So I have 183 in the bank, so I'm not going to be able to do much. I could have sold this stuff and gotten to, what was it, 92, uh, 48, and 58 is 106 plus 71 is 177 plus 92 is uh, 108. What? I don't think my brain worked right there. 106 plus 71 is 177 plus 92 is 269. 269? I swear I'm good at math. Okay, not good, but okay. 100 and, or 269 plus 183 is four... Uh, 52 and I'm pretty sure even the cheapest one which is rend that you have to pay to go to is 550 so I would not have been able to do it anyway 
That being said, so let's prep this for next time. I'm getting close to out of time for this one. Um, March is already stormy, so we're going to probably be going back to offense, which is a bit unfor... I, I think I'll do Vow instead. Because, I mean... Offense is okay, but like I just saw there, you walk in the door, there's turrets right there aiming straight down the hall. There's nothing you can do about that. Even if you're the best player, those turrets can lock on sometimes unpredictably, and they gun you down, and that's basically the end of your run. It essentially limits how far you can go in the run. Because like I said, if you're only doing $1,000 a day at Titan when you get to the late game, you can only do up to a $3,000 quota consistently after that you start falling down and you maybe get one or two quotas further how much else you can do before you blow through all your savings i have 432 on the ship next quota is 256 nice i think that's a computer reference <laughs> That being said, thanks you guys for coming along for this ride. Let me know down below what you think about me using other kinds of mods that are quality of life. Being able to sprint faster and for longer would definitely come in handy with uh, utilizing my time. I could start doing like two hauls instead of basically one on any planet. And uh, extra inventory slot would definitely help for obvious reasons. That being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.